Okay. I recently got some happy mail from Dee Dee. Thank you, Dee Dee. Some of it was like a giveaway that I won, which was pretty cool. I got these gorgeous butterflies and two sets of stamps. And thank you to the one who sent those to Dee Dee to have as giveaways. This beautiful bag. Okay, so I got that first. So I got this neat little kit to make myself a nice little booklet. So it's really cool, really cool stuff. So I'm going to be working on that today. While Dee Dee is streaming. And my chat's not working, so there you go. That's kind of neat. I can make a little pocket like thing. make another pocket for something. I'm not going to put it in right now. Okay, so that gave me two signatures of four each so so each signature has like eight pages so that's 16 pages altogether Okay, so I had this really pretty paper and I've cut it because I want to make this prettier and I should have done it before I put the pocket there I wasn't thinking but what I'm going to do is I, I did this so that I know where to cut it so I'm going to 
cover it there, and then I'm going to tuck it in there too. And just glue it down. Wow, I love it. I messed up when I was cutting it, and so I had to do like two strips instead of one and stuff, but I still love the way it came out. So that's, that's cool. And then... I think it's cool that it's not perfect, that it kind of... Yeah, it, anyway, um, I think I'm just kind of doing whatever comes to mind as it comes to mind. So I think what I'm going to do next is to uh, use my old stays on ink uh, timber brown, which is almost dry. There's not much left to to it. Um, and I'm just going to ink the edges of each page. Just like that. Inside out and like around there and there too. So. I'm just gonna do. Okay, so this is how it looks now with the stays on around them. Uh, I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do next. I'm not sure. Hmm. I have a few pieces like this from the the bag, and like they're shorter, but I kind of like the idea of having a few shorter pages inside there, like that. So I think I might do a few of those are in there and I think because it will be too hard to use this 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 thing because it's already it's already too small to you know uh, I'm just going to use my decorative scissors to to do the edge on these Just like that. And then once I decide how many of these I want in there and where I want them, I will, well, I will also ink those like I did the other ones. So yeah, once I've done that, I'll come back. I decided to go with four of them. One at the beginning and one at the end of both of the signatures. So that's where I'm at now. Now I'm deciding if I want more pages or if that's good. I think that's good because if if the pages get decorated and get thicker then it'll be yeah it, it already doesn't really like to close very good so so now I'm I need to decide about binding and I'm also debating whether or not to rub my stays on like that around on the cover because that'll bring out the, the pretty wrinkles 
but I don't know if that will ruin it or not. So I'm going to test that on a small piece that I have left over here. And it, I'm going to test it on this little strip here to see what I think. Because I don't want to do it all on there if, if it's going to make it look ugly or something. Okay. Um... It's not really worth it. You don't really see it, so... Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Now I know. Okay, so... I know that I'm going to want this... Beautiful lace piece... On the side of the book. I still haven't decided if I want to leave it so that it... It's like that. Or if I'm going to wrap it around so that it's pretty like that. This is probably what I'm going to do, but I'm not sure yet. But I think that before... Oh. I was going to say that before I do the lace, that I should do the binding. But if I do wrap it around... I should probably... Hmm. Because I was just going to do a simple binding. I don't even know if that's proper or not, but it's just how I'm going to do it. I just poked, I used my pokey tool and made some holes. This is the first signature and I found some yarn here that kind of matches the color scheme of the bits I have in the kit. And then uh, I'm going to find my... My needle here and hmm. that color would match too really but anyway uh, I picked out three different possible colors I think I'm going with this one because it it's it matches the color in the pieces best. Okay, so this is probably a mistake. I was going to glue this on and I'm still going to have to glue bits, but the for the lace, I was going to just glue it on. But if I if I do this, then it's going to going to look ugly. It's going to ruin the pretty lace look. So, I don't know. And if I put it under, I don't think it'll work. Have I mentioned yet that I don't really know what I'm doing? <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, okay, that'll look okay. I. I like it better underneath it than on top of it, so... Okay. We're gonna go with it that way now. I did it kind of opposite, I guess. I should have done it so that... Oh. Why didn't they get put in? Okay. I have to try. I'll, yeah. Okay, so it's the weirdest binding ever, I'm sure. And that's only one signature. 
The middle's going to be bulky, so it's not going to work out very good. But. Uh, and I also had to change the position of the, the shorter pages because for some reason, when I had them here and here, I couldn't catch them with the binding because it put them at the wrong place or something. Anyway, so I put them at the beginning and in the middle instead and I'm going to do the same thing on the second bind on the second uh, signature I'm not sure if I can use the same holes or not probably not so and I'm not measuring I'm not making it I'm just putting them wherever. Because I can never get a knot to be real tight, I don't know how to do that. I wanted it to be tighter because you see how loose it is so what I did is I wrapped it around like that and then I tied it on I looped it around there and then tied it on itself again see Okay, so I looped it around and brought it around there and then I tied it on itself there again and that one's coming undone because I cut it too short. And so yeah, then I looped it again and tied it again so because that one is coming undone there I'm gonna tie these two to each other instead dangly bead thing. Okay. I know this doesn't make a lot of sense. And it's ugly. But I don't I yeah, I don't really know about binding things. So... Okay, that one I'm going to cut like that. And I'm going to try to avoid that when I put this on. There, and then when I put that on it it kind of hides the ugly see because it's ugly <laughs> so I think I'm going to use glossy accents to glue that rib, uh, lace on okay so it's not dry when I was putting it on I realized that I have it on upside down because the pocket is there I so because of that I changed my mind about the dangly that was going to be up there and come all the way down so if I do the dangly thing I'll, I'll do it in a different way uh, somehow and just now I've decided that I want to round these two corners so I'm going to do that I have corner scissors but I think that 
it's not going to cut well because they haven't been working very well. So I'm just going to use normal scissors to do that. And I'm just going to do that that way. Yeah, because even just these, it barely wants to do it with these. And once it's, yeah, once it gets dry, I'll, I'll cut that off. And uh, I'm going to glue this right there. Oh, that's what I did. Do I have it upside down? Yeah, I do. Okay. So yeah, I I have it upside down and backwards too because I intended for this to be on the back and that to be on the front because I was going to put this there and that was going to be what the front was going to look like. But now I have to change my plan because because the pocket would be at the wrong way so All right, so I wonder if this still works yeah I can still do that I can do it this way so yeah I'm gonna do this or actually this okay so I made the mistake of cutting around it like that. I should have left it straight like it was but I still kind of like how it looks. I think with the back actually I kind of like it just like that. I was going to do this and like trim this but I think I'm going to use this on the inside instead. And do I want this? Hmm. No. I'm going to leave the back just like that, I think. I'm trying to decide if I want to... I think I'm going to use that on the inside as well. Okay. Perhaps this can be a nice little tag. some more decisions and let this dry some so be back so there's some washi tape on what what the kit was inside she made an envelope out of some cardstock I think it it matches perfectly with with this image and so I'm going to use it here on the inside on this page and I'm going to try to make a, a collage like thing a la Didi, but yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I'll, I'll use paint to. and I might find another bit or two to collage in with it or something. And But anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. 